morning, oh, it's uh, not the morning, good day, hello, my name is Oleg, uh, today we'll go to the Gatchina, it's one of the suburbs of St. Petersburg, it's located about 50 kilometer, approximately 50 kilometer from St. Petersburg, uh, today I want to introduce this city for you, today is the second day of the new 2020 year, the 2nd of the January and you see the weather it's rain it's plus 5 plus 6 it's uh, maybe not typical temperature temperature from January but you see now the winter uh, became warmer uh, it's now it's a standard for the last uh, 10 15 years so if you're afraid the frost uh, you will welcome, you will see that the weather is very good, it's uh, maybe like in Paris, it's not a problem. Uh, frost, if you say about the frost, you can see the frost in Siberia maybe, uh, maybe in Ural, but not in St. Petersburg. I know that in Moscow now approximately the same temperature. You'll see the central entrance to the Gatchina, it's a gate, central gate to the uh, old city. Uh, there are two same type uh, gates in Gatchina and now uh, we entered to the central street of the Gatchina you see the typical buildings of 19th century it's two three story buildings this is Saint Nicholas Church it was built in the beginning of the 19th century by architect Quadri. This church is reminds of the Greek temple. You see the patio with the four columns crowned with the triangle pediment. This is a typical raw material for the construction of the building. Uh, the building is made of the Pudeski stone. We are in Gatchina, in one of the suburbs of St. Petersburg. Uh, this city was founded in the uh, beginning of the 18th century. We see the protection of most holy mother of the God Cathedral. The cathedral was built by architect Harlamov. Today we are at the, near the cathedral, it's the Pakrovsky, in the Russian Pakrovsky Cathedral. You see it's beautiful. Uh, lighting it by, by the sun. Today is a sunny day, so the second of the January is unusual, but here yeah, the sunny day is a beautiful sightseeing on the cathedral. This is a pedestrian street, it's a special booking street, it's named Saborne, Cathedral Street. There are a lot of restaurants, cafe, a sweet uh, cafe on the street. This is Cathedral of Apostle Paul of St. Paul Cathedral. It was founded in the uh, first uh, half of the 19th century. It was ordered by the Emperor Nicholas I. He wanted to commemorate the member of his father, Emperor Paul I. And also uh, the cathedral was dedicated to the sister and brother of Nicholas I. Elena Pavlovna and uh, Konstantin Pavlovich. The church was founded at the presence of the Emperor Nicholas I. It's a real cathedral because it's, uh, there were three altars inside of the church. It was built in the classical style. The Nicholas I ordered to carve uh, the cupolas, five cupolas of the cathedral, with the usual paint, green paint. This is the main pedestrian street of Gatchina, Saborne Street, Cathedral Street. The World Fair Exhibition in Paris in 1900s, the city Gatchina received the main prize as the best provincial city in the world for the life. At the end of the 19th century, in time of the Emperor Alexander IV, the city received the electrical lightning first in the Russia. 
very old building in the old Russian style. Today is the second day of the new year. Yesterday the people celebrated the new year and today the weather is good. That's why there are a lot of people walked and with the children, the, all the families. There are a lot of bakeries, cafes, sweet restaurants. It's one of them. This is a bread production. This is a palace garden. The area of this park is about 140 hectares. This is one of the picturesque park of the Gotchina. It was projected by the architect Brenner. Could you believe that? It's a January, the 2nd of January, 50 km from St. Petersburg, town Gatchina, the palace garden. There are several lakes in this garden. This is a silver, the biggest lake. Over the lake, you can see the castle, Gatchina Palace, Pavlovsky Palace. For the local ducks is not the question to feed because you see a lot of bread on the ground. What is very clear, transparent water. Small house for the birds. It is the second day of the New Year holidays and a lot of families came to the garden, to the streets, to walk a little with the children. I'm feeding the ducks. I'm feeding the favorite uh, Count Grigory Arlov. Uh, it was a very best gift. Uh, he helped her to take uh, the power from her husband, Peter III. At the middle of uh, 18th century, uh, Count Arlov uh, began to build this palace castle. He ordered the project to the famous architect Antonio Rinaldi. The palace was built in 1781. Only two years, Count Arlov lived in this house. It was good estate, it's good opportunities to hunt in. A lot of animals lived here. After the death of Count Arlov, Catherine II purchased this estate and castle from relatives of Arlov and gifted this estate and palace to her son the future Emperor Paul I, the Grand Duke Paul Petrovich. If before we saw the landscape palace garden, this is a regular garden near the palace. This palace is made of the Pudersky a limestone. It's very interesting materials because in the sunny day it has yellow color, but in the gray day it has a gray color. We'll see the date of the when the palace was built, 1781. It was one of the lowest castle of Paul the First. After the accession to the throne, he declared this palace as official summer residence of Paul the First. now in one of the yards of the castle. Relations between the Catherine the Great and her son the Paul the First was 
far from the ideal. The Pole the first, the future Pole the first, was aware that he is the rightful ruler of the empire, that Catherine the second absorbed the power from her husband, Peter the third. Remember you that this castle Gatchina is located about 50 kilometers from St. Petersburg, from the main residence, from the main imperial residence. The Grand Duke Paul spent here the 13 years. Uh, the, uh, his mother, Catherine the Great, gifted this castle and this estate to the, her son Paul in the 1733, because she wanted that Paul the First uh, lived far from the palace, from the St. Petersburg, from the uh, political elite of Russian Empire. Paul Petrovich, uh, Grand Duke Paul, uh, lived here with his uh, wife, Maria Fyodorovna, but the main time he spent here in this palace. On the plots he controlled, he conducted exercises for his army, small Gatchina army, and he accessed to the throne only when he was 42 years old. And from this time, this residence, Pavlovsky residence, became the official summer residence of the Emperor Paul I. Unfortunately, he uh, ruled only five years. In 1801, he was killed in St. Petersburg in his another residence in the Mikhailovsky castle. But this place is beautiful. I recommend to visit in the summertime and wintertime, anytime this castle, this beautiful palace garden, it's a real interest place. The central entrance to the palace. This is Prioratsky Castle, Prior Castle. It was built by Paul the First for the Knights of the Malta Order. At the end of the 18th century, the Maltese Order was weakened because uh, of the attacks of French and British armies. And Knights of the Maltese Order applied to Paul the First uh, to support them. And Paul the first became the magister, the master of the order, and he built especially for the night uh, this palace, this castle in the Gatchina. Thank you very much. Today I want to say goodbye to you and uh, let's uh, glad to the new 2020 year and I wish you uh, good luck and happiness in new year.